Hey guys, so today we're just going to graph the two basic trig functions. The two basic trig functions are y equals sine x and y equals cosine of x. This is going to be a short video just where I show you how, how I personally graph it and the other ways that you can do it. And so we're going to start off just by doing the y equals sine x. So let me erase cosine x. And the first thing I do is, well, you have to draw, you know the period is 2 pi, so I just draw increments of pi over 2. So we've got pi over 2, we've got pi, we've got 3 pi over 2, then all the way at the end we've got our 2 pi. And I do this because all the important points will fall at either pi, at these, these increments of pi over 2. So, well, we know sine x starts at 0, 0. And at first we're going to go up. So then I draw on major points. Well, I know the range goes from 1 to negative 1. So after I have all my pi over 2s drawn, and I have my range of 1 to negative 1, really it's just plugging in the important points and then eventually connecting dots. So I know, well, the sinus function starts up. So I think the first point's going to going to be up here. So pi over 2, 1, that'll be the first critical point. And then it's going to go up all the way to 1, then it's got to start coming down. So then our next one is going to be at pi, 0. And then while it went up, it's going to keep going down, and it's going to hit pi, 3 pi over 2 and negative 1. Then it's just going to go right back up to 2 pi and 0. And now we have one period of our sine function. We just got to connect the dots. Here we go. And that's it. And the sine function, if you wanted to, you could draw it back here again it's going to do the same thing it's going to do the same thing past this but what, what the point was today is just drawing one period of the sine function which is from 0 to 2 pi right here and the range is important to know it goes from 1 to negative 1 I hope this was able to help and now let's go on to y equals cosine of x so y equals cosine x and again same process we're going to label in increments of pi over 2 pi over 2, we got pi, we got 3 pi over 2, then we've got our finish at 2 pi. And then again our range for sine and cosine goes from z negative 1 all the way up to 1. The difference now is you know how sine started at 0, 0, cosine starts at 0, 1. So it's going to start up here, and then it's going to start actually start going down instead of up like the cosine did. So it's going to be at um, pi over 2, 0. Then it's going to be pi, and that's when it hits all the way at negative 1. Then once you're all the way at the bottom, you know that you have to go back up. So then you're going to get 3 pi over 2, 0. Then you're going to end up right where you started at 2 pi and 1. So that is one period of our cosine graph right there. And then, as you know, it could continue forever. It would do the same thing again and again in both directions. But for one period, it is from... Um, 0 to 2 pi again, and remember that it, this one starts at 0, 1 and goes all the way to 2 pi and 1, and cosine and sine starts at 0, 0 and goes all the way to 2 pi, 0. I hope this is able to help. We'll get into more videos where we start moving around the functions, uh, phase shifts, amplitude changes, stuff like that, but just for a basic understanding, I hope this was able to help. Have a